Yo, Shay. And it's Word on Twitter. And, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And, and like this video. So today is an amazing day because we're doing the scary text messages you, you should, should not read at night. So basically, guys, we're going to be reading scary text messages that please do not read at night or you probably just be scared. So let's get right into this video. Woo! Alright, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and read Don't Turn Around. Elevator to Hell. <laughs> oh no, that sounds so scary. I'm scared. Comment down below and like this video if you're gonna be scared. Are you watching this at night? If you're watching this at night, you're a real dare devil. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start actually first. So, oh my god, the creepiest guy just came into the store. Question mark? <laughs> He ordered coffee and I asked his name to write on it. And he just stood there. Mm, he just stood there, smiling. Like he didn't say anything and just stared at me. Oh no, okay. Have you ever got somebody just staring at you like, just like looking at the distance and you like look over and they're staring at you like. That's the worst That's like the worst thing. What did he look like? Long black hair, black eyes. I think because I asked him his name, he thought I was hitting on him. <laughs> how, do you, how do you even ask somebody their name and then you think they're hitting on him? That doesn't make any sense. Ha! <laughs> I know, I open it, yeah. As he took his coffee, he brushed his finger on my hand. <laughs> oh, probably like this. Like as he took the coffee, he probably like got his finger and like went like. <laughs> and he stood there some more. Mm -hmm. It was so weird. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> what time does your shift start? Three. I'm on my way over there now. But I have to quickly drop off a package. Package? Yeah, it came to my house by mistake. Just give it to the mail carrier. I would, but my mom wanted me to drop it off in person as it's on its way. Okay, so she wanted to drop off in person, okay. Waiting for elevator now. Speaking of creepy, this lobby's super weird. Have you guys ever been in a lobby that's weird? Not us. Mm. I don't think so. How? There's this mural on the wall. Mural, okay. It's one of those old medieval type paintings. Angels that look like babies being hunted by devils. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't want to work here and see it every day, lol. An elevator. I guess she's going in. Yeah, I guess she's like going in. It's old building. I guess she's trying to say it's an old building. Yeah. Going up to the 13th floor. 13th floor? <laughs> 13th floor? Why the 13th floor? The 13th floor. Oh, I didn't think buildings had 13 floors nowadays. Mm -hmm. I, mean, mm. I wonder why. This one does. Weird. Stopped. But door isn't opening. Okay, that's when you know something bad. That, that's when something <laughs> We're going back down. Did she even press a button? Uh, stopped again. Uh, now going back up. Mm, weird. Not stopping. Okay, this is weird. See weird? <laughs> yeah. Question mark. <laughs> I forgot who's in sorry. Stopped again, I guess. I guess. Between 43 and 44. That means this building is tall, because... <laughs> Did you jump? Why did she <laughs> jump? What kind of friend is this? Not jumping. Jump. Okay, this is jump. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you? The jump cheer squad? What are what are you afraid of? <laughs> that will free fall. I mean, I'll be scared too. I, mean, I think if you jump, it helps wobble the cables or something. What kind of friend? <laughs> Big 
being stuck on the first floor would be fine. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I would be fine with the first floor, but not 43 floors up. Not 43 <laughs> floors up. <laughs> jump. Oh my God, she's actually terrible. Bro. She actually trying to, she's actually making her try to jump. I tried wobbling a bit, but it isn't responding. I hit the alarm bell. I mean, good idea. If I was on the uh, third floor, I would probably hit the fire part of, uh, button. But like, how are you supposed to get into the 43rd floor? <laughs> Hopefully someone will respond soon. I feel bad for this girl. Don't like this. Feel like it's dangling on a little rope. Well, heck. <laughs> <laughs> and you could snap, and it and could snap at any moment. That's sad. If it suddenly starts falling, you know what to do, right? Do you know what to do if it starts falling? <laughs> well, I don't know. Do I? Uh, die. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you jump up right as it hits the ground. Then you're only making a little jump. It's like jumping off a step. Is that true? Oh, well, I don't know. Just made it up. <laughs> but not just I'm not. No one is answering. I hear cracking above. Jesus. Doesn't elevator have a phone? <laughs> they have really bad grammar in this. Doesn't a elevator have a phone, basically? Yeah, but when I went to the to call, the phone came off. The phone came off. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Some idiot vandalized it and cut the cable. Who cut the cable? Who cut the cable? This is crazy. Try, op try to open the doors. Open the doors on the 43rd floor. Wow, very smart. Not opening. Freaking out. I hate being trapped in a little box. It's not, I don't even know, not that little. <laughs> Claustrophobic. Feels like a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call the police? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the police going to do for you at that point? 43rd floor, okay. Wait, it's going down again. Good, you had me worried. Stopped again. <laughs> it's hot in here. Jesus Christ. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> what you mark? Light flashing. Mm. Oh my God, power went off. I'm calling 911. Okay, I just got too calm for this person in this. I'm calling 911. <laughs> Hold on. We're moving. Going down. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. TTYL. I'll cover for you with Thomas. Wait, don't go. Why are you gonna leave me when I'm trapped in the elevator? Oh, you gotta be worried. Just because I'm moving down a little bit doesn't mean I'm gonna go back up and go back to the 43rd floor. Feel something's wrong. Very slow. 30. Oh, they're going down, okay. 20. 20. 10. Slowing even more. Nine. Nine. We can like count down together. Six. Six. Three. It's almost there. Ground. Ground. Oh my God. <laughs> Mm. WTF? <laughs> Question mark. I'm still going down. Wait. Uh, wait. Ground. How's she still going down? She's <laughs> on the ground. I didn't even realize that. Wait. Hold up. If you're on the ground, you're still going down. I mean, like, there's like usually when you're on the ground, there's usually like a little under part just for like all the stuff. But how are you still going down if you're on the ground? It's a haunted. <laughs> haunted. <laughs> I right, can go. Parking level? I mean, it could be the parking level. Mm -hmm. There's not a button for any parking level. Well, heck. <laughs> oh my god, moving faster. Are you sure you're going down? Yeah. I mean, well, uh. I mean, I'm going up. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe 24 is already. Still going down. Oh my god, not stopping. Stopped. Stopped. <laughs> this is like an anxious thing. What's gonna happen after this? Doors open. Okay, well, if that door's open to the lobby, I'm gonna like, get it. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. mm. 
Question mark? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not going out there. Not going out there. Total darkness outside. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Wait, where like, is she talking about like outside outside where cars are? Or is she talking about like when the doors open, just like a black, like you can't see anything. I guess it's just, yeah. It's just black you can't see anything. What floor are you on? I don't know, I'm still going there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, no signs. I feel bad for that girl who's in I that. feel really I'm bad really, for I'm her. I'm scared for her. Just see dark. Can't even see any walls. I'm getting scared <laughs> myself. I feel so bad. Weird. But so cool. But so cool, you found some secret room. <laughs> that is such a mean friend saying cool. I would love that friend to be in her position and see how scared she is. And like, she's just texting. Okay, well that girl's probably crying, probably bawling her eyes out, texting like, oh my God, like, what should I do? Too scared to go out. Ha. Huh. You're so mean. Funny. <laughs> No, 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 not funny. <laughs> Creepy in here. You should go out and explore. Maybe you find treasure or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Treasure. <laughs> treasure. When you open a elevator door, you're supposed to expect treasure. Okay, well. Next time we go in an elevator, I'll know to expect treasure. <laughs> and share so we can give up our, our jobs. Well... Oops, sorry for all the bad language. Probably blurred out. I don't know. Oops, Thomas nearly read that text. LOL, so glad he didn't. I'm pressing close. I'm pressing close the door, but it's not closing. Try another elevator. There aren't others. This is the only one. That's scary. Then what are you supposed to do? I think I'm going crazy. I don't think you're going crazy. If you're on an elevator, how are you supposed to go crazy? Like... That doesn't make sense. Question mark? <laughs> I glanced down at the package. And the ad just now looks different. Oh dear. Um, so, pause, <laughs> <laughs> pause. Um, has the address look different? Like, was your eyes just playing tricks on you? <laughs> uh, different how? I'll be the same. I'll be the same. I'll be like, <laughs> how is it different? Like, are you tripping? <laughs> I'm sure it said delivered to 13th floor. You are sure. Okay, you are sure. Because I feel like nobody would ever just want to go to 13th floor to deliver a package. Like, that's something why would somebody even want to do? So. But now it says basement. First of all, I would not even want to deliver this package. I would just be like, uh, I left the package at the front of the hotel. If it gets taken, it gets taken. <laughs> How did I read that wrong? Door not closing. I'll be scared. I'll be so scared. I would never want to be in her situation. I want to know what's inside. No idea. Like shake it. Should I just leave it here? I mean, I would just leave it there. Yeah, like, true. Yeet. I'm like, uh, you can sit here, you know, they'll probably go in the elevator and find it. Shit, yeah. Outside the elevator? Probably. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But couldn't someone steal it if it's out in the open? I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care at this point. I'm stuck in the elevator. I could care less about the package. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Who is it addressed to? There's no name on it. Wait, then how is she supposed to go to 13th floor but she doesn't know the name of the person? She, she's gonna go to 13th floor and be looking at her roof and be like, is your name? No name. Maybe you should open it. I'll probably open it, but like I wouldn't want to go through something like somebody bought, so see what it is. In case it's super valuable. Okay, all this girl's thinking about is like <laughs> treasure and leaving her job and valuable. Yes. She's something way different. Or keep it. I'll probably just keep it and then like I'll, if I want to I could just return it to the person if I don't want it. <laughs> I never keep keep it as it isn't mine. I, I wouldn't keep it to use it. If it's like some say something like I don't know something it can be used for like say if it's a phone somebody wanted a new phone they bought it. I'll probably not use it just because it's like 
Unless it's a million dollars, lol. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'm opening it. I've been so curious this whole time. Cool. Cool! Well? Question mark. <laughs> Odd. What is it? Looks like a big crucifix. And guys, so we are going to pause this right here. So you have to make sure to watch our part two to this. Yes. So if you really want to see a part two, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and like this video just to see a part two. Because we are gonna be very excited to see what this has the story has to lead to. Like what are these text messages? It's pretty scary. The last text message was looks like a big crucifix. So I'll put that in the comments what you think the picture is or what you think is in the box. So Yeah. Anyways guys, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe and turn your post notifications and we'll see you in the next video.